One topic that's not discussed too often, but is very necessary in a trio, is how to end your bass solos effectively. Basically saying, how am I going to let the band know that I'm done soloing? Because there's nothing more awkward. Well, there are a lot of things that can be more awkward. But musically speaking, you don't want to just play your bass solo all the way to the last chorus or the last bar of the chorus and then say, oh, I was a soloist, but now I'm a, now I'm a bass player. Because the trio doesn't have time to react to that. So here are two ways that are clear indications to the trio that you are done with your bass solo. The first way is let's say we're playing over a standard like Days of Wine and Roses. In the first example, I'm going to start walking or at least transition my role from that of soloist to accompanist in the last eight or so bars of the melody. In the, or sorry, the last eight or so bars of the bass solo. And this will cue to everybody that I'm transitioning out of the role and that we're going to go somewhere else. So let's take it from the second half of the tune, and then I will make a very clear gesture to everybody. Uh, two, uh, two, three, four. Exactly. When you make a cue like that, where you're starting to walk, Jamil knew to pick it up at the end of my solo and transition into the new section. And that's a key part of making an arrangement as a trio, is not viewing it just as section by section by section, but finding those ways to weave a fabric between each chorus. In this case, at the end of the bass solo, it's my responsibility to clearly indicate to everybody, maybe not just with eye contact, but musically, that, hey, I'm definitely done. I'm going to my role as a walking bass player or playing two, but basically assuming the role of supportive accompanist and clearly indicating that I am done soloing. Another way to do this is by quoting the melody. This effectively shows that you're slowing down the momentum of the solo, and it's a cue that everyone else can also hear. And even if they're not making eye contact, it's very clear what you're stating. So we'll take it from the last half of the tune again, and this time I'll play the melody to indicate I'm done. Uh Two, uh, two, three, four. As I start to hint at the melody, then Jamil started to accompany as if I was playing the melody maybe on the top of the tune. So it's a clear indication that we're going to slow down the momentum and go towards the end of the tune, whether it's trading or playing the melody out as we just did. But again, there's no way that it can be misconstrued if you're very clear about it. So whatever you choose to do, just be very clear in your musical choices and that again will help you weave a very nice musical fabric between each section of the tune.